Yo, 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 what's up you guys? Welcome back to another recap video. Today it is August 30th, finally, the end of August, um, 2021. And today I traded BBIG and ATER. But in this video, we're just gonna go over BBIG. What my game plan was, thought process, pre-market, everything. So BBIG started running on Friday big gapper so this morning you know, it went from 280 to 6 by the end of the day and then after hours it just kind of went crazy to 7s 760s and then this morning woke up and it had hit 1060 <coughs> excuse me um so we had our top pre-market top area and then um this 10 decent decent resistance at the 10 um so initially once I got down to 760, I was like, all right, we need a pop to like 990s or something like that. Um, then I got up to 925. And at this point, I was thinking, okay, maybe a move to 990 or 950. Um, so then I was thinking, all right, maybe you could squeeze. So let's scale accordingly. So I was looking for a move to 9.50. This is my first order hit. 9.50 and then I was gonna add at like 10.50. But it never got there. So I ended up adding, once I hit that one, I added some here. But then as it was reclaiming, I was like, you know what? Let me take out half because I wanted to add up top higher just in case it does reverse and go over pre-market high. So I only took off half here and it wasn't a lot. It was a little bit. Um, but then once that rejected, you could see here how, I'm putting the three minute. So basically, after that stuff move, yeah, so once it's stuffed, I was like, is it going to go higher? And it didn't. It failed to hold over 950 again. So this is when I was like, Oh, I should slam it here. And then it was coming back down. And then I was just like, scale, 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 scale. So I ended up getting my full size here. And then I was just going to risk back over 950. So it was just holding, retested 924. Same resistance here. Once that broke, it halted down and then on the halt down I already had some covers ready 7 770 I believe 770 760 50 40 30 10 7 90 680 so I ended up getting my cover at 7 and 690 it didn't hit my 670 um Right here, I took out more on this support area at the eight, just in case. And then I left my other orders at the 760, 750, 740, 720, 7, uh, 7, and 790. And as it reclaimed, I just took it all out back at the 760. And then after that, I just left it alone. I'm not even going to try to fight with it um but I mean it was a good 
it was a good little retest, you know, move back over eight, over under eight, then fail, retest back at eight, and then there's your drop. It could end up back at 660. That was my ideal target, but they'll probably use the volume to to hold it up all day, milk it. But but yeah, see, that's pretty much it. My trade, quick uh, quick hundred bucks. You know, stress. It was pretty stress free. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, post a comment, hit me up in my Discord if you want to join. There's a link on my channel. Feel free to join, it's free. Subscribe if you want to see more of this detailed executions and pre market game plan. Um, my thought process and yeah see you guys on the next one peace